Hi, welcome to a very uh, unusual and special Murray's Loot from my house. Um, Murray and Derek from the Dice Stompers here. Um, haven't done a Murray's Loot for a long, long time, and I've been storing up lots and lots of things that have arrived. Hoarding, I think is the word. No, 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 no? not hoarding. Uh, I think it's hoarding. Collecting. Um, mm. Yeah, no, you've been talking to my wife. Yes. Um, <laughs> yes, and certainly uh, John won't pan around, but um, yes, but, but it this... might look like that at the moment. Um, this looks um, fun. This yes. looks really interesting. So tell us what we've got. I've had, uh, this is the Invisible Sun RPG from Monty Cook Games, which I backed on Kickstarter, and then uh, it didn't arrive, uh, and it kept not arriving, and I'd sort of given up on it, sent some emails, as you do, and uh, then suddenly, boom, it arrived. So you got and the basic set, just the bare bones, I got the, the box. PDF. I got the box. No, <laughs> I, look, as you'll see, as you know, because you know me, um, I like physical things, so uh, generally when I back a Kickstarter, I want something physical, whether it's the core book or all the books. Um, so I bought the I bought the cube. The, this is known as a cube, and it's yes, if I measure it, it's it's a cube. Yeah, right. Um, and this is the, the the core of the the Invisible Sun RPG, which is a unique uh, and special system out there that people have um, praised highly. So I'm, we get to open it. Let's right. now. This is uh, a 13 kilogram box. So uh, are we gonna have to stand? We're up? gonna have to stand up and see if we can get this thing out. Oh, I'm too weak. Oh, no. my, my role player muscles. Oh, oh hang no, on, wait, that no. Comes oh, out. oh, it's organised. Oh, they've done. They've done planning and packaging. Okay. Ooh. And then hoist the 13 kilogram box. Oh, oh there we go. Look at that. Okay. Right, box down, done. Look at that packaging. All right, here we go. Unboxing, literal. Ooh, ah. Now apparently we open up a whole new world when we uh, open this up, so <laughs> if this is like a universe ending event, apologies. Well, let's, let's check out the these things. What, what are they? Uh, so these are, good question, um, special things they sent me. Um, so that box was one of two, and then there was another box that had this envelope in it, which was kind of, I thought, quite hilarious. Superfluous. Really. Uh, you know. Anyway, so it is a, an envelope with... Ooh, ooh, sticky. Very sticky. With stuff. What is it? Oh, it's got a bag and... Ooh, what have you got? I, I've got a medallion. A medallion, okay. So... I have got uh, ephemera objects. Um, and a letter talking about the secret of the red sun, which I believe is one of the different kinds of suns you can get, I'm assuming. Um, which means in here's probably a red sun. Let's, uh... Well, let's have a look at the... You can have a look at the medallion? Yeah. All right. Time, boys. Can't, can't keep up. <laughs> Sorry. All right, here we go. John gave us a time limit. We're this trying to be... This is the medallion. And it said green on the packaging. I don't know if this is a different one. Okay. But, um, Zoomed in on Derek's crotch just then. Sorry, everybody. Oh, thank you. And in here is a... Oh, another medallion. Ah. Oh, I wonder if I've got multiple Let's medallions. see if they are different. Let's see if they are different. What's your one have? Put it up on the box. Yeah, very different. Oh, maybe, maybe just a little... There we go. Oh, I was going to do some hand modelling. You don't like that. Wow. Hand. Lovely. So that's different. Okay. Okay, I don't they know why I have cool. a different medallion. And I probably shouldn't get them confused, but anyway. Okay. okay. That one's going back in its little silver. My one didn't bike. have a word on it and saying anything. All right. Is ephemera it? objects. Ephemera objects. Okay, that looks. Yes. Yes. Right now. Um. Mm. Ooh. Look at that. Are you getting all Hello. this, John? Have you got your angles? Coming in now. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's no. Oh, that's worth it just for that. To be honest. To be honest. To oh, be honest. Well, okay. You've got uh, four hardcore rule books. Hardcore? Did I call them hardcore? Hardback rule books. Um, down the bottom there. And drawers. Oh, look at that. That's Where first? Top drawer? Oh, oh. Top drawer. Top shelf. Top shelf. Look at that. Oh, that's got bits and cards and... Oh, the hand. Yes, yes, yes. There's the hand that carries the... Oh, that's amazing. Bronze. Hand for is, the Invisible Sun is RPG. The hand designed and that to holds carry... the, I think the card goes in between the. Oh. I think so. Right. But but you might be right there too. Oh yeah, look, because there's a slot, so yes. And tokens. Sorted tokens and bits. Bits and tokens. Purples and greys, okay. Probably got other names other than bits, but. 
Why don't we keep these out? Keep that out. Oh, I just don't know if we're going to have the space, Derek. Okay. Let's okay, yeah, draw. Right. Let's draw one. Draw two. Is what? Props, Props envelope. Envelope. Uh, cards. Cards. Gosh, so many cards. Um, cards. Counters. Counters. Cards. A. Uh, what looks like a tablecloth with the Invisible Sun logo. I have on got it. a map. I've got a map. That's cool. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I think that's the game board. Uh, ooh. Have you got all of that, John? So pretty. Pretty. It's so pretty. This one is Satirine. Satirine? Satirine. Yes. A city. A city. Cool. Um, yes, and then that goes back in there, that goes back in there. Some dice. Dice. Specific D10 dice. The Sooth deck. Yeah. Are those dice uh, Numenera? Not Numenera side. No, they just look to be they... just regular 10 sided. Yeah. Um, and different schools of magic. I think you're all magic users in Invisible Sun. Uh, so that's the Vance spell, so um, named after Robert Vance, hence the Van Vankian system. Vankian, Vankian. Sounds like Swerve it? No, no, no. That's that's where you forget your spells every night and have to relearn them. Yeah. Which is more, yes, more ephemera, ephemera objects. objects decks, and maybe this one is a spell deck. Spell deck, spell deck, spell deck. Okay. Right, there you go. Let's not unwrap all the cards yet. So there'll be a lot of learning before we can play the game, but that's cool. That's part of the excitement. And then what have we got here? We've got oh man, so much stuff. Uh, oh, me. Oh, we have. Uh, the Omega spell, the Guiding Hand, Secrets Envelope, the GM's Envelope, the Player's Envelope, uh, a poster of uh, the different suns. Gosh. You have now summoned, you have summoned the Black Cube, now behold its treasures, as we indeed are doing. Oh, some player character sheets. The art book. Got a map oh, here wow. of under the indigo sun. Nice. That's very pretty too. Yeah, the quality is really gorgeous, good. Gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, the art book's gorgeous. Ha 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 You can't. So you've got glorious art. Amazing. From Monty Cook Games. Pretty glorious. Gosh, we could do a whole video on each one of these. On each one of these. Um, some bookmarks. Always good to have bookmarks. And then your four hardback rule books. So the key, the gate, the path, and the way. The four different rule books to tell you how to play. So literally hours of fun in that one. Well, that's so pretty cool. So this isn't was, based on. This is a completely, this is a completely new different system. game. This is a yeah, a completely new and exciting game experience. Wow. So that is The Invisible Sun. So hopefully, um, once we've sat down and learned it, we can have a game of it and you can join us on that journey. It doesn't look very complex at all. No, it no, I think, very simple. You know, a minute to learn a lifetime to master. <laughs> um, we'll see how we go. All right, good. Glorious.